months into Opportunity's deep sleep on Mars, there's hope. Hope that's still alive many months after the massive dust storm ended Opportunity's ability to communicate with Earth. Hope that the rover will wake up and call home. The deputy principal investigator of the Mars Exploration Rover mission is ready for anything that may or may not happen next. Ray Arvidson is still making progress on Mars, looking to the future with or without opportunity. And I'm lucky enough to also be on the Curiosity team, which is the big rover, and it's discovering all sorts of interesting things and has enough plutonium to last some number of years. Arvidson is on Curiosity's science team. From Washington University in St. Louis, he's using daily images from Curiosity's cameras combined with orbiter views to immerse himself in sophisticated 3D imagery of the Martian landscape. That's accomplished through NASA's software and Microsoft HoloLens. Arvidsson's involved with path planning and can examine with clarity Curiosity's immediate surroundings. He can see sharp rocks and sand, areas for Curiosity to avoid, guiding the rover where he wants to collect samples for testing. Here he is with mixed reality software walking on Vera Rubin Ridge. The ridge is named after the discoverer of dark matter as it's filled with a mineral hematite, an iron oxide formed in water. And the path that lies ahead will take Curiosity and the science team on a new adventure. We'll drive south into a valley that's chock full of clay minerals. And these we think are ancient lake beds and then drive up this hill called Mount Sharp over the next few years. And it's a set of strata, and the further uphill you go, the drier the rocks. So we're looking at basically like a strip chart recorder of the drying out of the planet. And that's pretty exciting, right? Because we're gonna use what we find in the rock record to invert, to reconstruct the ancient environments of the planet and when and how it dried out. Because today it's pretty dry and pretty cold. And while opportunity is at rest, if opportunity should not resurrect, curiosity won't be alone for long. Arvidsson is looking ahead to the year 2020. Arvidsson's been involved in the beginning stages of the Mars 2020 rover mission. It's going to launch in 2020. It's basically will look like curiosity, but with different instruments. And on the robotic arm, it will have a drill and collect maybe a couple dozen drill cores, which will spit out on the surface to be collected later. He played a role in the five-year-long search for possible landing sites on the Red Planet. And when the list of 60 was narrowed down to four finalists, he helped with the final selection. So we're involved in producing data from orbit that helps select the final of the four landing sites. In late November 2018. Jezero Crater has been selected as the landing site for our upcoming Mars 2020 rover mission. This decision today could determine what happens in the next decade or more of Mars exploration, both robotic and human. The technologies that we prove here feed forward into a program that gets ever more exciting. A geographically rich terrain with landforms dating back more than three and a half billion years. The crater is home to an ancient lake delta system that Arvidsson says is like the Mississippi Delta. I'm not part of the science team, but I may be because there'll be proposals for participating scientists probably next year. The launch date is planned for July 2020. For HEC, I'm Kathleen Berger.